Yeah. 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 Right. Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuba. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you're listening to the Games of Love podcast. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, Meg, Megan, and apologies that uh, you cannot see my uh, my video. For some reason, I've just opened the stream and it's telling me that it can't detect my camera. So apologies for that, but I will try to bring you uh, the audio as best as I can. Uh, yeah, again, sorry about that. But we are here for the first semi-final of the day in Hamburg. An ATP 500, we've got Lorenzo Musetti and Francisco Serundolo. We've just seen the, uh, the Hamburg final of the women's side. We saw Bernardo Pera defeating Annette Contave in that final in straight sets. Bernardo Pera winning his second title in two weeks. Very good day for Pera. But we are here for Musetti Serundolo, and Musetti is serving to get us underway. It's at 30-15. Oh, but it's an excellent length there from Francisco Serundolo. It's 30 all here already. Musetti under some pressure. If you are watching along, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new. Again, I apologies that I, I can't seem to get this <laughs> my video working. I really don't know what's going on, to be honest, because I, I, I did the Hamburg final earlier uh, this afternoon, and uh, everything was fine for that. But for some reason, same. Probably got Mazzetti here at 30 all. Forehand from Serundolo, backhand from Musetti. He's got that lovely one handed backhand as Musetti, but Serundolo goes wide there. It is 40 30. So the second semi final of the day will be brought to you by David uh, just after this one Carlos Alcaraz against Alex Molchan. So it should be a good final, regardless of who comes through these semi finals. By Sam. Yeah, thank you all for joining me. Again, apologies about the video. But uh, yeah, this should be a good one. This is uh, two really exciting players, especially on the clay from Musetti and Sarundolo winning his first ATP tour title last week in Bostad. Defeating Baez in the final. And we've got a drop shot here from Musetti. It's a good one. Francisco is there. Musetti with the volley lobs over Francisco's head. Oh, it just lands on the baseline. Oh no, it's been called out. There's a very late call there and uh, Sarundolo is sh underlining the mark the umpire comes down to take a look but I think it will be long it was a lovely drop shot but Serundolo was there 
and long on the lob. We get a replay here. I think it was just long. Yes, it was. So we are at juicy in the opening service game of Rosetti. Hi, Todd. Nice to have you in. Thanks, everybody, for joining me, and I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Because we have had the one final today, but the rest of the matches will be semi finals. We've already seen the two semi finals in Gestad played. We saw a Bertini defeating team in the first match of the day there. And uh, in the second match, we had Rude defeating Ramos Vignola. So it will be a Bertini Rude final tomorrow in, uh, in uh, Gestad. So that will be a good one. The top two seeds. Team playing really well, though. Love to see him back again. Rosetti here with the advantage. Good serve. Backhand return from Serundolo. Backhand from Musetti. Serundolo with the forehand. Musetti with the forehand cross court. Forehand down the line from Serundolo. Musetti's there with the backhand. Serundolo forehand cross court. Musetti again digs it out, but it goes long there from Musetti. And we are back at juice. So a tough opening service game, this one from Musetti. Serundolo already looking for this break. Serundolo looking for his second title. Mosetti yet to win a title on the ATP Tour. I think he's yet to reach a final as well, Mosetti. So he's looking for his first final. Of course, then Alcaraz or Molchan would await them in the final. And a second serve here for Mosetti at Juice. Good win against Davidovic Fakina in the previous round. Good serve forehand return. Now Musetti with the forehand. Backhand cross court from Serundolo is wide. Advantage Musetti here. It's slightly, uh, well, neither the player are really going for their shots. They seem a little uh, tentative, I think, to start this match out, maybe just feeling each other out. And Todd with the prediction, Serundolo 6 4 6 4. I, I think coming into this, I definitely would have to edge Serundolo. But um, Musetti has had a great week, and we know he's very good on clay. Push sits a past the five sets at Roland Garros, but I, I think I would give the edge to Serundolo as well here. Advantage Musetti. Second serve back and return from Serundolo. Musetti with the forehand is wide. He can't close this game out, Musetti. And we're back at juice once again. So Todd's given us a prediction. Why don't you give me uh, any predictions that you have? How do you think this one is going to play out? Musetti or Serundolo? And how many sets? So we are a juice here on the serve of Musetti. Lengthy open service game to start this semi-final. That's a great serve. Forehand return from Serundolo is good. Back cross court from Musetti. Another forehand from Serundolo. So the backhand down the middle of the court, another forehand from Musetti. Oh, it's wide from Serundolo, and it is advantage Musetti once more. You saw Musetti really uh, announce himself on the tour a couple of years ago in Rome, where he defeated Nishikori and Mavrinka back to back on the on the clay day. And he's done, done quite a few things on the clay. Hasn't had a great season, of course. He did have that good match against Sitsbas at the at Roland Garros, but he was two sets to love up on that one and lost it in five. But uh, no finals for Mazzetti yet. Hasn't really done much outside the clay either. But has the advantage here. We have a slice backhand from Mazzetti. Oh, Serundolo with excellent length. It's lobbed up by Mazzetti. Can Serundolo put this one away? Oh, Mazzetti gets the pass away. Serundolo with the overhead, but Mazzetti with a clean winner off the passing shot from that overhead. And Mazzetti closes the game out eventually after eight minutes Musetti is on the board it is one game to love and yeah i don't think i have a Musetti button here i definitely have a serundolo one of course serundolo has uh, recorded you know the intro for our podcast gtl but um yeah i don't think i have a Musetti one here but i will be playing the serundolo one though i am absolutely sure If you are watching along, please don't forget to hit the like button. I know, uh, sorry, my camera is not on, and I really don't know what the uh, the issue is. Yeah, <laughs> so that round circle, that is me. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I, I did the earlier final today in Hamburg, and my camera was working absolutely fine. I've just logged in now, and uh, 
is telling me it can't detect my camera. So I thought it was more important to just get on the stream and uh, provide the commentary for you than trying to, to sort that out and miss the match. But yeah, apologies for that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely I'll have to try and get that sorted. So Sarundalo serving his opening service game of this semi-final. It's ATP 500 in Hamburg. And it's another let on the first serve here. It's uh, two let. Must have loads of confidence, Sarundalo, coming in off the back of that win. His first tour win, ATP title, last week. Defeating fellow countryman Sebastian Baez in that final. Second serve here for Serundolo. Forehand return from Musetti. Forehand cross cut from Serundolo. Backhand from Musetti. Not the backhand from Serundolo. Love that one handed backhand from Musetti. Oh, it's again another great angle. Serundolo finds the forehand. Backhand slice from Musetti's into the net. 15 love. That's a good rally. Uh, this is going to be a good match, I think. Came out a bit tentative, but I think they're starting to feel it now. Seven to 15 love. Good serve. 400 turn from Rizzetti. Another backhand. Goes into the net from Serundolo. 15 all. Of course, we do have a Serundolo, two Serundolo brothers on the tour. We have Juan Manuel as well. Uh, he is. Well, he's already won his ATP title, his first one. He won that one last year. And uh, San Francisco has joined him now this year with a title of his own. Francisco being the higher-ranked Serundolo brother. Serundolo currently at 30 off the back of that win last week. Francisco. Musetti, on the other hand, uh, he's down at 62 currently, Musetti. Career high of 51. 30-15 here for Serundolo. You would think the winner of this would be facing Alcaraz in the final, because Alcaraz does have to come through Molchan first. But Alcaraz has been looking very strong this tournament. Yeah, it's on, dear. Juan Manuel, I mean, like I said, Serundolo is ranked far higher than uh, Juan Manuel, but he was the, uh, the the brother to win the first title. They both actually made their first uh, their first ATP Tour finals pretty much back-to-back -back at the same time last year. Um, and I think it was Schwartzman that Francisco faced in the final, and he lost it while Juan Manuel, he won his. Um, but, yeah, they are two brothers. I'm just going to Google him up. Google him here because I can't quite remember which one is the older brother. That's nice there from uh, Francisco Serundolo, 40-15. So Juan Manuel, he is uh, 110 in the world, so Francisco is 30. But uh, so Juan Manuel is the younger brother. He's just 20 years of age. Francisco is, let me check, how old is Francisco? I think he's 20, he's 23. Ah, <laughs> Sean. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm very sorry, and to you, Gary, as well. I. Uh, I honestly really don't know what is happening. I, I. I covered the the Hamburg final earlier this afternoon, Contivate versus Para, and everything was working fine. I had my camera on, not a problem. And uh, for some reason, I've just logged in here, and it's telling me it can't detect the camera. So, like I said, I think it'd be more important to bring you the uh, the commentary rather than try to figure that out and miss miss important parts of the match but i'll try my best to get it sorted as soon as possible but thank you guys for joining me and <laughs> sticking with me in this one anyway i appreciate it if you are enjoying hit the like button sam i'm not entirely sure that we have anybody covering um palermo today i, I possibly may be able to cover that one um but I, for the moment we just have hamburg and gustad uh covering but we should be able to cover the final for that tomorrow, at least even if we don't have the semi-finals today. The three tournaments uh, going on. Well, four, I suppose, if you count. Hamburg is two. We've got the Star, the ATP 250, Palermo, the WTA 250, and then Hamburg is the joint. But it is the 500 on the ATP side that compared to the 250 on the women's. We've already seen the women's final. I, I mentioned that I covered that earlier. Bernardo Pera winning a second career title, defeating uh, Annette Conte, the top seed today. 
And we have our first break point of the match here as uh, Serundolo makes an error and it is advantage Musetti here. So after working so hard in his first service game, Musetti, he's now got a break point on the serve of Serundolo. First chance here. Break point. Serundolo serves. And it's along there. Second serve. You can see uh, Gary and uh, PC Serundolo fans. Yeah, they're both very exciting players to watch, these two. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to edge Serundolo in this one. So, it's a break point here for Lorenzo Musetti. Because the backhand cross got there, now the backhand from Serundolo. Musetti goes back to that corner. Backhand again from Serundolo. Now, Musetti with the inside out. Serundolo gets there. This is a great rally here. Now, a slice backhand from Musetti. The forehand down the line from Serundolo. Musetti somehow gets that one back. Oh, and Musetti passes Serundolo at the net. How did Musetti win that point from there? And the first break of the match goes to Lorenzo Musetti. After working so hard in his first service game, he gets first blood in this semi final. It's Musetti 2 love. <laughs> Hi to all of you. Hi, Jean. Yeah, I don't know why I'm invisible. I really don't. And Alexi asking as well. I don't know what's happening. My, my camera's not working. I said it was working fine for the match this morning, but I don't know. It's just it's saying my computer can't detect the camera. My my laptop restarted itself in between these the two matches that I'm covering, so something must have happened in that update. Uh, I'll try my best to work it out, but uh, I will still be bringing you the commentary. Just uh, probably lucky for you, I won't have to look at my face while I do it. So. <laughs> And yeah, don't worry, Lexi, I will be getting the Sarundalo button out as soon as he uh, gets a game on the board, I think. And DJ, Bernardo Perrot on a brawl. She's won 12 matches in a row, two tournaments in a row as well. I I, I had edged Contemate for that one as well, uh, Todd. But uh, it was very good from Perra. She looked very strong. Oh, great. That, <laughs> that sounds promising, Gary. I have to do three computer reboots to get it back. Gosh. Well, hopefully uh, I can get it fixed for you, but yeah, it's such a shame. I really don't know what's going on. That's a lovely play at the net there from Lorenzo Mozzetti. It's 30 love here. This is a great start from the Italian. Oh, you're too kind, Todd. <laughs> Thanks very much. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll bring you the audio as best as I can. Yeah, PC thing. Sarunda looks tired. Wouldn't be surprised, you know, coming off the back of his win last week. He's played a lot of matches. I know I think he's pulled out of, I think he was supposed to play Umag next week, um, but has pulled out of that. So, yeah, this is a huge chance for Musetti. Not reached an ATP Tour final yet, has the Italian. 30-15 here on the serve Musetti. <laughs> Sean. Yeah, maybe I should uh, give Alexa a run for the money. It's really strange actually doing this without a, without a camera. Musetti, 30-15. Good serve, 400 turn. Oh, it's a missed hit from Musetti, and I think it was a, a double bounce there from Serundolo. Musetti apologizes for it because that, that was a miss hit. Fortunately, went over the net for him. It is 40-15. Oh, a point, two points here to consolidate that break of serve, Musetti. Serve back and return from Serundolo on the backhand. Back down that line from Musetti. Serundolo was into the net. He does indeed consolidate the break of serve, does Lorenzo Musetti. He is three love up. This is a great start for Lorenzo. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, I agree with you, I think. Uh, Serundolo does look a little tired and a little flat. They both came out quite tentatively, but um, Musetti's starting to pick it up now. And uh, yeah, maybe Serundolo's running out of gas, not sure. So I think, I think Kvitova's on court today. What, what is she playing, Kvitova? I wasn't aware of that. She uh, is, Isn't the tournament starting early, or is she playing an exhibition? I know Iga Sviantek was in that exhibition uh, against Aga and Vanska. Actually, I'm curious how that uh, went. If anybody saw that, you could let me know who won that one. <laughs> Ronan. 
can I sing like David is compensation? I, does David sing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I may, I may give it a go. You probably don't want to hear that though, to be honest. But maybe if you're lucky. <laughs> Yeah, right. I, I don't. I think he's just tired. I think he's running out of gas at Rundolo, to be honest. But you know, Musetti has come out pretty strongly. I think Rundolo is still going to give this a good go. I picked him before uh, before this this match. One, two again, Peaches. Uh, yeah, apologies that my my camera is not working. What a nightmare! But if you are enjoying the audio anyway, please give it a like the video. Ah, uh, Radvanska won six four. Impressive from Radvanska. I think she could have kept going for longer than she did. Obviously, retired. Not a good point for her, but uh, I think she would, even if she was still playing now, I think she'd be doing pretty well on the tour, Radvanska. Prediction from Nicola that Serundlo's going to win this one. <laughs> okay, I, I might have to then. If, 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 if David does it, I've got to cut up my competition. I do, uh, I do like to have a little dance to the, the buttons while they're playing. It's just you can't see me dancing to them because you can't see my video while the buttons play. But <laughs> maybe I'll have to give a little sing along as well. Dancing Romanska looks exactly the same, ageless. Uh, that's, that's really good to hear, actually, because uh, I really enjoyed watching Romanska play. And uh, I saw the, there was a picture they put on social media of her in uh, Egesfield like, earlier in the week. And, yeah, I'm, I'm gutted I missed that. I couldn't find the stream for it, actually. Radvanska's probably on, on my list of one of the best players to not have won a slam, I think, on the women's side, at least. i definitely put her up there. So, love 15 here on the server of Serundolo. He just can't quite find his rhythm at the moment. He's got a second serve here as well. Second serve, back and return from Zetti. Oh, it's a lobbed return of serve there. Now goes down the line. Oh, drop shot from Serundolo. Musetti can't get there. That's a lovely drop shot from Francisco Serundolo there. 15 all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can uh, add my camera in again. It's probably gonna tell me no, but uh, one second. No dice. Oh, what a nightmare. Apologies for that. It's a good first serve, the back and return here. Now the cross court back and from Serundolo. Forehand from Musetti. Big forehand cross court from Francisco Serundolo. Now with the backhand. Oh, I love that one handed backhand from Musetti. Oh, into the net from Serundolo there. On the backhand side, it is 15 30. Yeah, he's definitely looking flat here, this Serundolo. Yeah, Jean, I agree with you. I, I would be all for an Aga and Pants could come back. See here, the unforced error list actually is seven for Serundolo compared to two of Musetti. And another second serve for Serundolo here as well. You can see his first serve percentage is very low, 36% there. Second serve, cross court return from Musetti. Oh, just lands inside the baseline. Now a big forehand from Musetti, backhand into the net from Serundolo, and he really looks kind of frustrated with himself here because it is another break point from Musetti. Try to get this double break. Crowd trying to get behind him here. Yeah, I'm with you there, Jean. I think it is all catching up to him. You know, he, he hadn't won an ATP tour title before at Serundolo, and now he's made his, well. Two semi-finals at least back to back. He won last week, and uh, yeah, he could just be fatigued. So he did pretty well at Wimbledon in that match against Rafa as well. But it could just be catching up to him here. Two break points from Mazzetti for the double break. Oh, and a double fault from Serundolo hands the double break to Lorenzo Mazzetti. This is really not how I expected this one to go. It is the double break. Paul Hans and Musetti at four love. We have to maybe wait a little bit for the Serundolo button to be played. Oh yeah, the uh Todd saying the, the invitational doubles at Wimbledon with uh, Rambanska and Jankovic. Yeah, that's a good partnership, isn't it? I was uh, I never used to watch the invitational doubles, but uh I, I realized I was missing out. Oh, it's long there from Serundolo, 15 love, Musetti. 
Sir Underlord was knocking on the door in the opening service game of this match. And ever since then, it's just been all Mazzetti. Oh, I like this comparison, Gary. Aga was Jabir before Jabir with the clever strategy and tactics. I haven't thought of that comparison before, but yeah, it completely makes sense. Yeah, she was all, always an interesting match for Vanska. Never boring. Of course, just wide there from Mazzetti 15 all. Hi, Dean. Yeah, Sir Underlord does indeed. He looks a little tired. Schultzing Rossetti is a master on clay. <laughs> People forget because he's so bad on the other surfaces. Yeah, he's definitely a clay court specialist, isn't he? So, uh, Musetti hasn't really done anything on the hardness or the grass. That's a good serve from Musetti, and the return is wide from Serundolo 30 15. As I mentioned earlier, Musetti had that great breakout tournament at Rome a few years ago where the ATP 1000 where he beat Nishikori and uh, Marinka. So uh, done pretty well at Roland Garros, but no ATP Tour finals. You would expect if he was to make a first final, it would be on the clay. So with a backhand on the middle of the court here from Musetti, forehand from Serundolo, backhand from Musetti, cross court forehand from Serundolo, cross court from Musetti. Serundolo goes down the line, but it's wide. It's 40 15 and a fist bump from Lorenzo Musetti. Well, a point here for five games to love. Yeah, I'm sure I'm saying the, uh, I didn't get to watch it. I was really good to, I couldn't find a stream for it, but uh, Iga and Aga playing today in that exhibition. Oh, I'm sure that was really good. Second serve here from Zetti. I'm saying Aga was uh, great to watch, one of the most underrated players. Yeah, I think I have to agree with you for that, actually. I think she was quite underrated, Aga. Was always consistent. Consistent, but also not one of those players who, you know, are consistently doing well but not that exciting to watch she was consistent but she had that fun game uh rambanska she's quite uh kerber-esque in the way she used to kind of crouch down sometimes to get to the ball as well it's a nice forehand here from serundolo right to the back of the baseline it's 40 30 still a game point from musetti I actually agree with that list, uh, Jean. I, I miss those three players as well. It's, but yeah, especially Aga. And uh, I was a big Ivanovic fan. And I remember Jankovic was one of the first players I kind of remember watching as, as a youngster. But uh, yeah, I do miss all those as well. And uh, it's a lucky net court here from Musetti because the ball just creeps over the net. But it is another hold of serve for Lorenzo Musetti. And in less than half an hour it is five games to love here for the italian and this is really against the run of play i mean as you've all been saying i think it is just fatigue catching up to serundolo here after his title run last week in bostad but it's well it's all uh, musetti it's going sort of the way of that uh, first semi-final we saw again the team against bertini over in the start bertini took that first set i think it was six one in the end he was five love up so it's very reminiscent of that. But yeah, indeed, Sundalo having a hard time today, just not quite feeling it. So Sundalo is going to serve to stay in this opening set after this change of ends here. We'll have uh, this one is followed by Alcaraz versus Mochan, the uh, the second semi final. Final two we play tomorrow. We've got the, the uh, final scheduled for Gustav, the Rude Bertini final. That'll be at 11.30 a.m. local time tomorrow. We've also got the uh, the two semifinals in Palermo to be played tonight. Palermo has a really late start time this week. I know most of the matches have been starting at 4 o'clock. There was a match yesterday. Um, it finished at the very early hours of the morning. I was on a flight, and I didn't, the flight didn't leave till midnight. And uh, when I landed, they were still playing. But uh, yeah, they have an 8 p.m. start time tonight for the first semi-final. Be Bronzetti, Paolini for the first one, and then Solibus Tono and Begu for the second. Serundolo, serving at love five, trying to stay in this opening set. Can serve 402 from Bronzetti, just wide, 15 love. Yeah, so I do feel like he just needs to get a service game on the board. You know, obviously, he's probably got def almost definitely going to lose this set, but he just needs to get a game there to just get himself a little foothold. Oh, 
just wide on the back and down the line there from Rosetti. It looked like it might have caught some of the line there, but no challenge. It is 30 love. Of course, on clay, we have the don't usually use Hawkeye, although some tournaments do have the Hawkeye system on clay as well. You get the live bounce, but uh, here it's just uh, the umpire will come down and check the mark on the clay. It's uh, Hawkeye proven not to be quite as accurate on the clay as it is on the hard and the grass, so it's not really used, and especially if you can see the mark anyway on the floor. Second serve, 400 turn from Rossetti, another backhand cross court from Serundolo goes long, 30-15. Yes, uh, great for Polish tennis, isn't it? You know, they have Radvanska making a, a slam final. I'm trying to remember Radvanska's highest ranking, was it two? Uh, I'm gonna I'm actually I'm gonna look that up because I can't quite remember the highest ranking, but of course, yeah, great for Polish tennis. Now they got Iga, the dominant world number one. So Hubert Hercatch as well on the men's side. It's uh, very good for Polish tennis. They had uh, I think there were six Polish women in the main draw in Wimbledon as well. It was very good for them. It was the highest number they'd had in a while. Ah, it was number two. High high of number two was Radlanska. Forty fifteen. So Sarunda are looking to avoid the bagel here. Good serve. Four hundred turn is into the net from Musetti, and Sarundolo does get a service game on the board. So you know what that means. It is going to be the Sarundolo button, but it is five one Musetti. Francisco. Oh oh oh, Francisco. So Zetti serving for this opening set. That was a great angle on the forehand there. It's Arundolo gets there with a slice. And Mozetti is wide. He takes a look down the court. Don't think he's gonna challenge it. Just wide from Mozetti. So it's love 15. Yeah, Shannon. Uh, I agree with you there. We've, uh, we, yeah, we have been saying, I think he is tired, well, not just from yesterday, but from, you know, the, the big couple of weeks he's been having of tennis. And I think he is, he's looking a little fatigued. Second serve here for Musetti. Defeated uh, Davidovich Fikina in the sem in the quarterfinal with Musetti. And that's a... Uh, Bit of a miss hit there from Sarundolo, was it? Sorry, I was I was kind of looking at the uh, at the the draws, the runs through this draw. And, uh, kind of missed that point, but it is fifteen only from Rosetti. So down the tee, back and return is long from Sarundolo, 30-15. So yeah, the previous round, uh, yeah, it was the Vidovich Fakina that Rosetti came through against, and. Uh, Francisco Sarundolo beat Aslan Karatsev in three sets, deciding set tiebreak there. In the round of 16, Sarundolo beat Rublev. That was a really good win for Sarundolo, actually. Beat Rublev 6 4, 6 2. That's a huge win for him. Now Mosetti's at the net. And Sarundolo can't get the ball over the net. It's 40 15, and it is two set points here for Lorenzo Mosetti. Take this opening set in this first semi final of the Hamburg ATP 500. Yeah, he's hoping for a Sarundolo comeback. Still, he could possibly do this in three. Musetti set point, good serve. 400 turn on the backhand from Musetti on the middle of the court. Forehand from Sarundolo. Sarundolo's at the net with the volley, puts it away. One set point save, 40 30. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. Sarundolo brand the fruit future tennis. He is in that sort of. I think he's a well, little too old maybe for the next gen. Well, he's 23, but he, he's definitely one of those young players that you feel like is going to be big in the future. Prediction here that Sarundo is going to make a comeback, win the second and third set, 6-2, 6-2. Another prediction here for Sarundo. But it's still a set point here for Musetti, but it goes wide there for Musetti, so it's two set points saved or a deuce here. Ah, yeah, Jean, I agree with you. You guys know I love a one-handed backhand, and it is beautiful to watch. Lorenzo's. 
So we can't close the set out just yet, Muzat. These are two set points, seeing them come and go. What a Sarundalo got left in the tank. Good first serve, backhand return. Now the forehand cross court from Rosetti. Sarundalo digs it out. Drop shot from Rosetti. Oh, Sarundalo was there. Rosetti with the volley is wide. And it is a break point here for Francisco Sarundalo. With Rosetti serving for this. Where did this come from? It was a beautiful drop shot as well from Rosetti. But Sarundalo with the wheels on him just he got there and forced the error on the volley from Rosetti. So break point and a second serve to look at here. If you are, well, I'll say listening along rather than watching along, because uh, apologies about my, my camera, but if you are listening along, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button. This is a really good, uh, show. well, I thought this would be a really good matchup, but it's it's all Zetti so far, but it is a break point here for Sarundro. Maybe he's on the charge. Maybe he's coming back. Ooh, a lucky net caught there from Zetti. Thought that was going to go into the net. We play on, cross court backhand from Sarundo, backhand all from Musetti is great, but Sarundolo into the open court, Musetti gets it again, it's a cross court now from Sarundolo, it's a winner from Sarundolo. And it is Francisco Sarundolo breaks Musetti while serving for it, he's, well, almost back in this, he's still down a break, but uh, Francisco Sarundolo breaks back. Francisco Well, out of nowhere, really, is a break of serve for Serundolo. Maybe it is a comeback time. How does Gary predict the future? Maybe you've got a, a competitor for the title of comeback king. Well, let's see, he's still got serve to stay in this set against Serundolo. Still a long way back, but he's on the way. I think... Uh, uh, even, well, even Musetti or Sarundolo against Alcaraz would be a very exciting final. Not to discount Bolchan, of course, who's an excellent player in his own right. But I think uh, it would be a highlight reel kind of a match if one of these players were to face Alcaraz in the final. He's been looking very good, Alcaraz, this week. Uh, well, lost his opening set of the tournament to a uh, Kuhn of Germany. He's ranked, I think, outside the top 100, which surprised everybody. But since then, he's, he's not locked back. I'll get a, he demolished Hatchinov yesterday. 11-2, I believe it was. Well, I appreciate that very much. I'm very glad you're enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, well, apologies again. I know I keep saying it, but sorry, but my camera's not working. I really don't know what the problem is. But uh, I'm glad you're enjoying listening along anyway, even if you can't watch Love 15 here on the surface of Sarundalo. Oh, I saw this yesterday, uh, earlier today, John, the first round in Kitchbjol. I think someone put it on Twitter. It's going to be Team versus Gasquet. That's a tough one, but that should be a really good one. We'll see, uh, Kitchbjol is Austria, I believe, isn't it? So it's a home tournament for Team. Um, uh, yeah, Team looking good this week. He lost to Berrettini today in the semi finals, but uh, yeah, it's a, that is an eyes emoji match, isn't it? Great down the line on the forehand here from Sarundalo 15 all. Don't forget to hit the like button if you are listening along and really appreciate it. Sarundalo at 15 all. Good serve down the tee. Oh, it's a, a loopy return from Rosetti that lands on the baseline. Now back down the line. Francisco Sarundalo goes back down there with the forehand. Now the cross court backhand. Oh, it's wide from Rosetti. 30 15. Well, maybe the comeback is on. Still, like I said, a long way back. But it was uh, five love at one point. Could be five three now. It's Hamburg semi final, first of the day. First serve, uh, forehand return from Rosetti. Another back from Serundolo, forehand from Rosetti. Down the line from Serundolo, cross court now from Rosetti. Oh, and it goes long there from the Italian. It is 40-15. So 
Oh, sudden the long. He's coming back. Slowly but surely, he's coming back. Defeated fellow countryman Bias in the uh, hostile final last week to win that title, his first ATP Tour title, joining his brother in that club. Juan Manuel with the title as well. I believe he won uh, Buenos Aires, maybe, Juan Manuel last year. Second serve here at 40 15 for Serundolo. Backhand return from Musetti down the middle of the court. Backhand cross court now from Serundolo. Musetti goes down the line. Oh, it's great depth on the backhand from Lorenzo Musetti. It's 40 30. Oh, I do love that one handed backhand. He's so much fun to watch on the clay as Musetti. It's, uh, it's such a shame that he can't seem to transition his game to the other surfaces. Forty thirty cylinder low. Back and return here from Musetti. Now the oh, it's, oh, it's just landed in there from Serundo. Oh, I was going long. Now with the cross court forehand, Musetti cross court as well. Oh, finding some excellent angles, both men here and Serundo holds on and he does consolidate that break back. So we're just two games different now from five love to five three. But Musetti is going to serve for this one again. <laughs> I, uh, PC and Durant. Yeah, I am invisible. Sorry, I uh, <laughs> I really don't know why my, my camera's not working. It was working this morning for the Paracon to make match. And, uh, I logged in for this one. It's saying it can't detect my camera. So I'm going to try and fix that for you as soon as possible. But uh, hopefully you'll uh, enjoy this uh, audio commentary anyway. So Musetti is serving for this second set. First set, excuse me. <laughs> first set for the second time. Got broken serving for it. It was 5-love at Musetti. Sarundolo's clawed it back to 5-3, but it is 15-love here for Musetti. Can he serve this one out a second time? you feel like if Sarundolo was going to break here, and probably, you know, break the will of Musetti a little bit. Ooh. Gets the ball at his feet then, Musetti. It's a good return of serve from Sarundolo. Musetti had, had kind of come in for the volley and uh, ended up trying to hit it at his shoelaces. 15-all here. So trying to close this one out, Musetti. Young Italian loves the clay. Good serve back and return from Serundolo. The forehand from Musetti. Cross cut forehand from Serundolo. Musetti now down the middle of the court. Backhand down the middle of the court from Serundolo. Drop shot from Musetti. Serundolo again is there. He's getting to these drop shots. Musetti with the pass. Oh, but Serundolo with a beautiful backhand drop shot volley on the passing shot from Musetti. And it's 15-30, Serundolo now, he's starting to feel it. It was not a bad drop from Lorenzo Musetti at all. Serundolo's there, pushes the ball down the line, and then on the passing shot, it was he volleys off the passing shot to Serundolo for a drop shot winner. Beautiful there, 15-30. That's a good serve. Back and returned a cross court. Oh, it's a good one too from Musetti. Serundolo is there, is long. It is 30 all and a big fist pump from Musetti. He's trying to serve this out for the second time, this opening set. He's still at 30 all, so under pressure, Musetti. Lexi, come on, let's go. Yeah, well, it, it, he looked down and out. It was five love. Five love down. And now all of a sudden, he could be back on serve. He can win the next two points. Second serve here for Musetti as well. Forehand return from Serundolo. Backhand down the line from Musetti. Goes forehand again to Serundolo. It's a short ball, though. Musetti doesn't do much with it. Now the backhand cross court from Serundolo. Oh, it's into the net from Musetti. And it is a break point for Serundolo from five love up. Serundolo's a point away. Again, it's back on serve. It is 30-40 here. He served for this set twice, Musetti. Let's see if he can break here, Serundolo. One a second serve to look at as well. If you are watching or listening along, rather, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Second serve. Back and return from Serundolo is wide. 
breakpoint save. We are at juice. I think the umpire might be coming down to take a look at this one. Or maybe not. Let's see. I think he is. They're just showing a replay here of a seven little looking frustrated at the ball. But it is juice. It's been given to Musati the point. Good save down the tee. Back and return just clears the net. Now the backer from Musati. He's at the net, Musati, but doesn't need to be because it goes into the net from Serundolo and it is a set point here for Lorenzo Musetti. Well, it looked like this could be a, a huge comeback from Serundolo, but he does have a set point here, Musetti. The second time of asking, serving this one out. Can he close it out here? A good signs from Serundolo regardless. Set point number three. Good serve down the tee. Deep return on the fourth from Zetti. Oh, it's wide from Serundolo, and the first set does indeed eventually go to Lorenzo Mozzetti, and a big forza from the Mozzetti there. Because it, it took him two service games to try and close it out. He was five love up, but he does take it. Six games to three, Mozzetti. So the Italian is halfway there to his first ATP Tour final. Not reached the final yet, has Mozzetti. We'll play the winner of Carlos Alcaraz and uh, Alex Morcham, which is the semi-final up after this one. David's going to cover that one for you. But uh, you feel like uh, Serundolo is coming back here and uh, maybe getting a little bit of momentum. But Mosetti 6-3, so it will be Serundolo to serve uh, to get us underway in the second one. It's just hit 45 minutes on the match clock. Yeah, I agree with you there, Todd. Uh, you feel like he's going to take a little bit of momentum because he, he did have that. He was coming back. He won three games in a row. and uh, He almost broke Musetti in that second uh, time of asking of serving it out as well. So, yeah, I definitely think uh, the momentum is going to be with Serundolo going forward, even though Musetti has just won it. But it is Musetti who takes it 6-3. I think this is uh, the only singles match being played right now because uh, we already had, like I said, the women's final in Hamburg earlier this afternoon. Para beating Contivate there to win her second title. Both the semi finals in the start have been played as well. Berrettini coming through against team in straight sets and a very straightforward win for Casper Rude against uh, Albert Ramos Vignolas. Bageled him in the second set there, did Rude, I think. So it'll be a 1-2 for the final tomorrow over in Gestad. Casper Rude versus Matteo Berrettini. It'll be tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. local time. Should be a really good one. That's a great final for an ATP 250. This one, ATP 500. Is it going to be Mozzetti or is it going to be Serundolo in the final? I'd still back Alcaraz to win the whole thing. Obviously, he has to win his uh, semi-final first. Alcaraz gets more champ, but uh, uh, yeah, you'd have to give him the edge. Alcaraz won so many titles already this year. <laughs> Excited to see what he can do in this US Open swing, Alcaraz. But Serundolo is serving here to get us underway in the second set. Good serve, forehand cross court return from Musetti. Now Serundolo's at the net. Oh, but Musetti gets a good passing shot underway. Serundolo gets a racket to it, but it's into the net, so it's love 15. Uh, I love the sight of a freshly swept clay court. I love it. You come back after the set. Is that sad? Well, I love it anyway. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that, that's a first round eager and fresh. That's unfortunate for the tournament, really. Two Polish players against each other in the first round. But, uh, yeah, that should be a good one. Interesting one. Serundo to assert himself and love five down and start making it a match. He, he did, to be honest, he did. Uh, like I said, five love down, he got it back to five three, and, and he had a break point again uh, in that uh, at five three when Musetti was serving for it. Uh, eventually, Musetti took it, but uh, yeah, he, he's he had the momentum. He's got a bit of momentum coming through now. Serundo, he's looking much stronger. He looked fatigued really at the beginning of that this match. Yeah, Doraka is playing Molchan. I think it's Molchan. I, he doesn't have a thing on uh, the ATP Tour website of him saying his name. But uh, I think it's Molchan. It could be Molchan as well, though. I'm, I'm trying to find out. 
Maybe I'll see how David pronounces it later because he's covering that one for you. <laughs> no pressure. 3 to 15 here for Serundolo. Open game with a second set. Sethi with a forehand here, backhand into the net from Serundolo. 30 all. So Mosetti here. Maybe an opportunity. He uh, broke Serundolo in his first service game with the opening set with Mosetti. Is he going to do the same again here? 30 all. That's a good save. Born return. Now the backhand is long from Serundolo. And it is a break point here to open the second set up for Lorenzo Mosetti. It's 30 40. So can Mosetti capitalize on this and really assert himself now in this match of setting the break up? Another good serve, the backhand return is good. Oh, and it's into the net on the jump backhand from Serundolo. And it is the break of serve for Lorenzo Mosetti to open up this second set. Goes just the way of the first one. And it is one game to love for Lorenzo Mosetti. That's a good point there from everyone and listen to the umpires. That's the player's how to pronounce. Yeah, I'll have to try and uh, listen to that, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll be watching that semi-final later anyway, so I'll try to figure out how to say it properly. I would like to know how to pronounce the players' names properly. Ooh, potential quarterfinal in Warsaw. Iga versus Garcia. That would be a good one, wasn't it? Garcia's in a pretty good form. I mean, she did uh, She did lose yesterday in the quarterfinals. I think, was it Bronzetti who beat uh, Garcia there? But uh, that would be a very good quarterfinal. Another Frenchman, obviously Corner Frenchman, who took out Spiontek at Wimbledon, ending that 37 match uh, winning streak. But Musetti serving here with a break of serve in the second set, uh, already up a set, and the return of serve here is wide from seven below to 15. Look, Carlos, this Spiontek played since the Wimbledon exit. She hasn't, uh, well, not you know, uh, on, on a tour level. Uh, next week in Warsaw will be her first tournament back after Wimbledon. 15 love from Zetti, second serve. And there's uh, five tournaments next week. They're all 250s, three on the ATP side, two on the WTA. Back and return a serve here from Sundalo. A drop shot from Rosetti against the Rundalo. Was there. He's reaching these drop shots now. A lob from Rosetti. Oh, but he misses the overhead. Does Sundalo? It goes wide. It's 30 love here. Yeah, I agree with it. It's a deflating break for Sarundalo because he, he did really have some momentum coming through in that first set. And I really thought he, well, I didn't expect him to get broken in his first service game again here because I thought he, he, he maybe would get chances on Mosetti serve. But Mosetti was making the most of this so far. Dirty love. Second serve is that one down the tee goes wide. So the, uh, the ATP tournaments next week is at Atlanta. Uh, Umag, I think, and Kitchbjorn, the three 250s, and the WTA is, oh gosh, uh, it's Warsaw, and I can't quite remember the other one. Uh, let me just open my tournament list up. It is Warsaw, and it is Prague? Yes, Prague, which is a hardcore, actually, Prague. It was on the, on the entry list for that one. 40 love here for Musetti. Well, a game to love to consolidate that break would be very nice for him indeed. Oh, nice backhand slice there from Musetti. Another backhand slice from Serundolo. Having a slice off here. Oh, it's great length from Musetti and a big come on. He does consolidate the break of serve with a game to love. Musetti with the break in the second set, already a set up. Yeah, it's already a breakdown in set two. I really thought he'd come out in the second set and maybe with some momentum here, but not to be. And it is, uh, it is Musetti. Yeah, Peter's saying. Yeah, we were chatting about this earlier. I, I think it, it might be the ten, all the tennis catching up with him, Sarundal, after you know winning his title last week. I think he, he looked, well, he definitely looked fatigued coming out in the first set. He looked like he was bringing it back, to be honest, uh, from 5 love to 5-3, but uh, he does look tired, Serundolo. And love 15 on the serve here as well. 
Seconds over back and return from Rosetti. Oh, the loop ball. It just lands in from Salundo. And with, oh, but he goes into the net on the follow up. It is love 30 here. This could really run away from him now, Salundo, if he's not careful. Yeah, Sean, he's got a great style, hasn't he, Rosetti? I do love to watch him on the clay with that backhand as well. He's got a great drop shot, too. Can't translate his game to other surfaces. A good serve from Salundo and a good one, too. Can Rosetti get there? I think it was called a double bounce, actually. So it is 15.30. But still half an opportunity here from Rosetti to get the double break. Looking to make his first ATP final, Rosetti. Hasn't done that yet. The serve back and return. Now the forehand from Serundolo. Musetti with the forehand. That's a big forehand there. Back and now from Serundolo. Musetti. Oh, it's just long from Musetti. I think he's going to come and have a look at the mark, the umpire here, because Serundolo is pretty convinced that it is out. And it is out. So from left 30 to 30 all here. Two very exciting players, these two. Love to watch them. Two youngsters. Serundolo is 23. Musetti is 20. So is it going to be a game point or a break point here? Drop shot from Serundolo. Musetti is there. Oh, just clips the top of the net and bounces back on his own side. Musetti. So it is a game point. It is 40 30 here for Francisco Serundolo. It was a very nice drop shot, actually. You can see on the replay from Serundo, it kind of started bouncing back towards the net. So 40-30. Serundo for his first game of the second set. So serve, return. Serve wasn't anything special, but the... Oh, it just goes long there from Serundo. And it is juice here. The real danger of a double breakdown here now, Serundolo. If you are listening along or watching, depends on <laughs> what you can call it, please don't forget to hit the like button because every like really does help us, honestly. I appreciate it very much, and I promise I'll try to get my camera working for the next stream. Oh, what's the nightmare? Second serve here at Juice for Serundolo. Oh, and return from Musetti down the line, the backhand cross court from Serundolo. Musetti now with a one-handed backhand, I love it. Down the line goes Serundolo. Musetti goes back down the line, a cross court from Serundolo, backhand slice from Musetti. Drop shot from Serundolo. Oh, Musetti is there, but I think it's just gone wide, has it? Has that backhand gone wide from Musetti? It has. He got to the drop shot, tried to push the backhand down the line, but it was just wide there, so it is advantage Serundolo. <laughs> glad, glad to have you back on board, Gary. Yeah, um, he, he just, well, they both came out sort of not quite going for it, really. They were both a little tentative coming out, um, which, so I, I thought maybe it was, they were just feeling each other out, you know, maybe getting used to each other's game style, but Serundolo does, he does look tired. But he does there, he, he manages to hold on as it goes into the net from Rosetti and Serundolo. Avoids the double break. It was almost a double break down there, but it is 2-1. Still a break from Musetti, but Francisco Serundolo is on the board in the second set, so it won't be a bagel. 2-1, Musetti. Francisco. Oh, oh, oh. Francisco. Oh, oh, oh. Serundolo. Oh, oh, oh. Francisco. Lexi, I'm sure you'd be happy he is on the board in this second set, Serundolo. Still, still looking like more than likely it's going to be Musetti into his first final. But you never know. We didn't think he'd come back to 5-3 from 5 love down in Serundolo in the first set. Yeah, Lexi's saying, wish Serundolo played this against Rublev. Yeah, he... Uh, Really good win over Rublev with Serundolo in straight sets, two and four. Quite surprised at that result, actually. I know Serundolo, you know, is, is in form winning the title last, but uh, Rublev is 
no stranger to these titles. Well, he's a, an ATP 500 king, is Rublev. But um, it'd be nice to see him back at the US Open, Rublev, after not being able to play Wimbledon. And, uh, I don't know if you, you've seen this. Been some really nice interviews with Andre Rublev and Daria Kasakina. Uh, talking about, uh, well, Daniel Kasakina coming out and saying that she had a girlfriend and how, how hard it was uh, kind of being gay in Russia. And uh, both of them coming out and condemning the war and, uh, you know, speaking really bravely about it, actually. Some really nice interview with the both of them. If you uh, get a chance, try to look that up. Uh, I saw it on Twitter. Musetti serving with the break at 2-1. It's a great serve. Um, it's a great one-two punch from Musetti. Puts it into the open court. He drags it out wide, settling the low, and then uh, with the forehand, then into the open court. It was 15 love here for Musetti. Yeah, it is a good song, and it's um, I love the settling the low song. I uh, I almost sang it for you then, but you you really don't want to hear that. Second serve here for Musetti. Serundolo with the backhand return, cross court, drop shot from Musetti. Can Serundolo get the yes he can? Oh, but it's into the net. See, he, he's getting to these drop shots, is Serundolo. They, you know, he, he got the racket on the ball, but uh, just hit into the net. But he's got, he's got some, he's still got some wheels on him, even though he looks tired. He is reaching these drop shots. I feel like his movement forwards and backwards is better than his side to side in this match. PC predicting Carlos Segundo. Are we getting Musetti and Molchan? Well, it's looking increasingly like it's going to be Musetti. Let's see how the second semi final goes. Yeah, Leslie, so there, there was um, an interview. They, I think they were, they were speaking in Russian, but they, they had the subtitles and they were just saying about, you know, how they they, they want peace and, you know, they, they, they wish the war would stop. And uh, it was. Yeah, it was, it was just really nice. You know, Rubel has been outspoken about, you know, wanting peace. I remember one, at the beginning of the war when this happened, he wrote on the camera at the end of one of his matches, no war, please. Um, but, yeah, they, they they were both... I, I, I'm not entirely sure what the source was of the video, but it, I know it was doing the rounds on Twitter, um, both of them, Kasakina and Rublev. Uh, I see what you mean, Ronan. He sings the songs uh, where they play the change of sides. Yeah, there's no music in this one. I have noticed. So lucky, lucky for you, I think. Uh, that there's no music in this one. It is 40-30 here from Musetti for a 3-1 lead. Good serve. Oh, he digs the return out, but it's long from Serundolo. Uh, Musetti does close out the game. It is three games to one. Musetti with a set and a break in his pocket already. It's looking like it's going to be his first ATP Tour final. Serundolo, though, will be happy with his uh, all this, this tiny little mini clay swing that we've got in between Wimbledon and the US Open. He's come away with a title and a semi final as well to follow it up. Not bad for him. It's not over yet, though. Serundolo serving a 1-3. That's good from Serundolo. The, the short ball from Rosetti puts it away with a 4-1, 15 love. Sam asking if I have the uh, Nadal song. Let me check and see if the uh, Nadal button is uploaded to this stream. Because sometimes we just have the, the buttons for kind of matches that have been going on this week. Uh, I don't think that it, the Nadal button is on this one, you know. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Because he hasn't been playing this week. We've got, yeah, the, the buttons of the players who've been, you know, in action across Gestard and Hamburg. But, yeah, no Nadal button, unfortunately. But uh, if uh, if Serundolo does win this game, I will get the Serundolo button out again. So 15 all here. As Musetti gets a nice passing shot away. Serundolo with the serve. Backhand return from Musetti. Now the backhand on the middle from Serundolo. Forehand from Musetti. Now Serundolo goes cross court. Backhand. Oh, it's just long there from Musetti. 30 15. Yeah, 
you know, as he's saying, I think Musetti has improved a lot. Yeah, like, like I said, we saw him break out a couple of years ago and he was doing really well on the clay, but he hasn't really done much, especially on the other surfaces. He's not done anything. Um, he's not had a great, particularly great season. He did push it to to five sets at Roland Garros, but he is, you can see him, especially, you know, kind of the players that he's beat this week as well, for Davidovich, for Kina, uh, Ruzavori, Lajovic, you know, he, he he's doing well as Musetti, and I agree with you. I think he has improved. He just got to somehow try to find a way to, to translate that game to the other surfaces. But uh, on the clay, he's looking very good. Oh, I love this, uh, Gary. So my wife is Russian and has a gay daughter. The whole Kasakina thing last week really had an impact on us. Daria was so brave. So proud of her, but uh, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna have a tough road back home. Yeah, of course, uh, it, it had a big impact on me as well. I, of course, you know, I've made, made it uh, public on here that I, I also have a wife, and uh, yeah, it, it really affected me that I thought it was, especially you know, being Russian, um, such a brave thing to do. And uh, I think, I think that would really have helped a lot of people what Kasakina did, and um, nothing but admiration for her, honestly. Uh, it's made me like her even more now. So Sarundolo does hold serve here uh, at 3 2, and I did promise a uh, Sarundolo button if he did hold, so here we have the Sarundolo button. It is Musetti at 3 2, but he is in touch. Francisco! Oh, oh, oh! Francisco! Oh, oh, oh! Sarundolo! So if you are listening or watching along, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button. Let's, let's try to get to 50 if we can. And uh, if you are just joining, apologies again that my, my camera's not working. I don't know what's happening, but uh, my computer is saying he, he can't. It, it can't. Uh, detect the camera so i'll try to get that fixed as soon as possible hopefully you're enjoying the uh, audio commentary nonetheless a couple of you here supporting francisco vamos fran vamos francisco uh, you are thinking Mosetti's gonna win he has got the set in a break Mosetti, but we did see a beginning of a comeback from zero in the low in that first set but all mazetti has got to do now is hold serve just over an hour on the match clock. I think it's Ben, Sam. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's Ben. I might have to ask him. So Mosetti serving at 3-2 with the break. Not a great serve. Somehow gets the return and play this Francisco. Back to that wing goes Mosetti. Cross court from Serundolo. Now with the backhand, backhand cross court from Mosetti. Forehand from Serundolo. Oh, Mosetti on the stretch. Oh, and it's long there for Mosetti, love 15. It's not good here for Cylindro to get the first point on the opponent's serve. So, the young Italian with a set and a break. Oh, thanks a lot, Gary. Uh, I, I thought it was Ben, but sometimes it just doesn't sound like him, so I was wondering, but yeah, almost... I love the buttons. I do love the buttons. They're so damn catchy. Ooh, it's wide from Mosetti. I think the umpire is coming down out of the chair to look at this one, but I think it's going to be Love 30 here. It is Love 30 on the serve from Mosetti. Maybe Serundolo's coming back here. It was a double breakdown in that uh, opening set. Managed to call it back, but it is Love 30 here. Oh, it's a good serve down the tee from Mosetti. And can he put it away? The overhead? Yes, he can. He lets it bounce. So Serundolo manages to, to get a racket on it, lobs it up, bounces at the net for Mosetti to put it away. It's 15 30. Yeah, this, this is the best opportunity for him to get it back in, especially at love 30. Get it back on serve here at 3 all, Serundolo. Feel like you've got to capitalize on this. Good serve again from Mosetti. 
Now good length on the back on the backhand cross court here. Oh, it's long there from Rosetti. And it is two break points here for Serundolo at 15.40. Maybe he is going to take this opportunity here, Serundolo. Can he get it back on serve? We've not been on serve, really, for, for any of this match. When Rosetti's broken his opening service games of both sets. So can he get it on serve? First time in the match here. Two break points for Serundolo. 15.40. What can Rosetti do here? It's a good serve. Backhand return here. And the forehand from Musetti, cross court from Serundolo. Oh, is that in? No, it's been called out. Musetti's looking at the mark. I think he's not convinced, but he has underlined it here. The umpire's going to look. Oh, it's good. It's been called good. So I think they're going to replay the point here. That was unfortunate. Yes, Lexi? <laughs> what can I do for you? Or you, uh, well, it is me, by the way, if you are wondering. Sorry about the camera. Second serve here for Musetti on the break point. Second serve, backhand return from Serundolo. Forehand from Musetti. Cross court backhand from Serundolo. Musetti goes down the line. Serundolo gets there. Now Musetti with the backhand. Musetti's at the net with the volley. Oh, it's a good volley from uh, Musetti. Gets a little going the wrong way. Puts the backhand volley back down the line. It's 30-40. One break point saved. Still got one more to look at, though. Has Serundolo to try and get us back on serve in the second set. Is the comeback on here. Musetti would love a first serve here. Can he get one? No, we can't. It's a second serve. If you are listening along, please don't forget to hit the like button. Second serve here. 400 return. Oh, it's an excellent return of serve from Francisco Serundo. And he does break back. We are on serve. Well, for the first time in this match, it is three games apiece here. Serundolo's got us back on serve in this match. Three games apiece. A good rally here. Forehand now from uh, Serundolo. Oh, short ball here from Rosetti. He's there. Serundolo. Oh, we can't get the volley. Serundolo. It is love 15. So that's a good point. Uh, not entirely sure how Serundolo managed to lose that one. Rosetti just getting every ball back in and then eventually couldn't couldn't put the volley away, Serundolo. Love 15. First serve, forehand return, backhand cross court from Serundolo. Oh, it's just landed in. Now the backhand from Rosetti goes long. It's 15 all. Still looking lick flat is Serundolo. I know he has just got the break back. But I think he is still fatigued. And a second serve here as well. Oh, harsh Ronan, harsh. <laughs> I don't think he is. I really like watching Serundolo. I like both of these players. Oh, it's a good return here from Rosetti. Now with the backhand cross court, backhand from Serundolo. Playing with some good angles once again in this rally. Drop shot from Rosetti. Serundolo is there, but just about gets a racket on it. But uh, it is Mosetti's point. It's 15-30. Is Mosetti going to get the break right back here? Serundolo under pressure again on his serve.
Yeah, it could be huge for him, that break. He went down the double break and uh, in the first set, almost did in the second set, I, I thought as well. But uh, no, that was a big hole, big break for him to break back. And uh, he desperately needs a hole here, the Serundolo. Oh, what a drop shot from Serundolo there on the forehand. That was beautiful. 30 all. Uh, I give it to me, Roman. Oh, no, no, that's all I'm going to be able to hear when I hear that button. <laughs> so, 30 all here on the serve of Serundolo. Could be, like you said, Gary, a big moment here in this match. Good serve down the tee. Back on return from Zetti. Forehand from Serundolo is long. And it is a break point here for Musetti to get that break right back. And the crowd again trying to get Sarundalo maybe over the line here, but uh, it is a break back point for Lorenzo Musetti. 30-40. Good serve, backhand return. Now the forehand from Sarundalo. Musetti with the backhand. Serundolo goes back down the line. Musetti with the passing shot. Oh, but Serundolo gets a beautiful drop volley. Oh, Musetti, I thought he was getting that passing shot away there. But Serundolo with the volley. That was lovely. We are at juice. Saves break point. It's a big save there from Serundolo. <laughs> lovely backhand volley on the stretch there. And a big bamos as well. So, out of trouble for now. Deuce. Three games apiece. So forehand return. Now the one two pushes him out wide. The Serundolo is lobbed up by Musetti lands in. Serundolo. Oh, he makes an unforced error on that. Oh, that ball sat up for him to put away, but Serundolo goes wide, and it is break point number two here for Lorenzo Musetti. Can only take the second break point, Musetti. That was uh, really. I don't know, maybe uh, to be lie off the ball, Serundolo, or lost this focus, but yeah, that really sat up for him. So Serundolo in trouble once again after doing so well to get the break back. Oh, it's just in there. I thought that was wide from Serundolo. Oh, but then great length from Francisco is lobbed up again by Mosetti. Is he going to make the same mistake? No, he doesn't, Serundolo. We are back into a rally here. Backhand now from Mosetti. Cross court backhand from Serundolo. Musetti goes back cross court. Oh, it's great length from Lorenzo Musetti. And he does get the break right back. It is 4 3. After doing so well, Serundolo, to get this back 3 all, I thought, like you said, Gary, I thought that was a huge moment for him in turning this around. But Musetti, credit to him, has taken that break straight back and is serving now at. Four, three. So he's once again a set and a break up is Lorenzo Mosetti. Please, if you are listening, I know I keep banging on about it. Please hit the like button. Every like really does help us. See if we can try to get the 50 at least for this one. It's a good semi final. This one, it, uh, well, it didn't start off that way. Five love, but uh, Simone was making a bit of a match of it, although Mosetti now does have the advantage here. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Tracy Austin with a Welsh accent. I've not heard that one before. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. But uh, I'm, I'm glad you think my commentary is superior. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to try to make a career out of this, to be honest. I mean, well, like I said, when I finish this, uh, this bloody PhD next month, I will be doing this as my main, uh, my main job, really. But uh, yeah, Tracy Austin, I'm coming for your job. Welsh accent as well is... Uh, no, better as well, I think. <laughs> PC saying, I think Mosetti wins this now. So Rundalo barely serving 165, 170 now first serves. Yeah, you're right. Actually, there's uh, something, yeah, I hadn't, uh, well, I'd noticed, but I hadn't really picked up on that. that there's uh, his, his power, his speed on the shots, especially the serves, but uh, on his ground strokes as well, so Rundalo. He's, he's finding some great angles, but... The power, maybe, is not quite there. So, Mosetti serving a 4-3 with the new balls. Can he consolidate that break of serve for a 5-3 lead? 
his first ATP final it would be for Musetti. Oh, we've got a drop shot from Musetti. Serundolo is there. Musetti, can he get the passing shot away? Yes, he can. Gets the back, back, backhand passing shot away. How big? Come on from Musetti. It's 15, love. That's a great passing shot from the Italian. Musetti. Second serve. Oh, he's coming in for the serve and volley there. Yeah, Dean Musetti's backhand's been great today. It has. I, I, I love his backhand anyway, the, the one-hander, but uh, it has indeed been a weapon for him in this match, definitely. Oh, as I say that, he dumps a backhand into the net. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I cursed him there, I think, but uh, I'd be happy with that either outcome for this, to be honest. I like both of these players. Yeah, sorry, Alexi. I don't think he did listen to you, did he? Well, I thought he, I thought he did listen to you when he did get that break back for three all. But uh, it is Musetti once again in the driving seat. That's a good serve from Musetti. He took the pace off it, but uh, got a great angle on it, and it's thirty fifteen as the return goes into the net from Serundolo. This is a huge opportunity for Musetti. His first final to be at a, a 500 level event as well. But he's got to get over the line. That's another good serve here. And the return goes long from Serundolo. It's 40 15. Who's that? They really getting himself pumped up here. A point here to put him a game away from his first ATP tour final. Musetti at 40 50. So it's down the tee. Back and return from Serundolo. The forehand from Musetti just clears the net. The backhand slice from Serundolo. Musetti with the cross court. Serundolo back down that line. Now with the forehand down the line. Musetti with the backhand cross court. Serundolo with the slice. He's at the net. Serundolo and uh, Musetti goes wide. 40 30. Not done yet. It is Francisco. Hiya, Gary. Send, sending you and your wife all the best as well. I can't imagine what it must be like uh, going through uh, well, going through what's happening at the moment. And uh, yeah, if you uh, lived in Kiev as well and seeing what's happening over in Ukraine, yeah, my thoughts are with you, honestly. Was that the second serve at 40-30? Can he consolidate this break? Serundolo with a cross court return. Backhand cross court from Musetti. Oh, it's an excellent angle from Lorenzo Musetti. And it goes into the net from Serundolo. And he does indeed consolidate the break. He's a game away now, Lorenzo Musetti. He's at 5 3. And Serundolo will come out to stay in this match. <laughs> Just over an hour and 20 minutes on the match clock here. Serundolo serving to stay in this semi final. Crowd getting into this. And was actually close this out on the serve of Serundolo here. It's a good first serve, 400 return, backhand. Oh, it's into the net from Serundolo on the plus one. Was that the fist bumping even that? And it's love 15, three points away. Was that the? Serundolo is playing quite quickly here between points. Another good first serve. A sliced return on the forehand. Now the nice cross court forehand there from um, Francisco. Oh, Musetti finds an angle. So does uh, Serundolo. This is a good rally here. Got the back and down the line from Musetti goes long. 15 all. I want to at least ask the question of Wuzetti because he did get broken. Wuzetti serving for that opening set the first time. It's just the one break in this set compared to the double break. So if Serundolo can put that pressure on him and break him back, then it's all to play for. Let on the first serve here for Serundolo. Can he find something from somewhere here, Francisco? 
Oh, that's a good save. And it is 30 15. I think Musetti's having a little luck. Serve down the tee. I think it checked off the line a little bit there. Yeah, because it caught Musetti out of position. But it is 30 15 for Sindelo. Another let on the first serve. We're closing in on 50 likes. If you're watching along, please, please hit that like button. Do me a favor. Really appreciate it. Oh, it's a good background on the line here from Serundolo. Musetti digs it out. Another great length from Serundolo. Another short ball. Serundolo. Oh, he goes into the net, Serundolo. How did he lose that point again? He found such great length on a few balls there, Serundolo. But uh, yeah, Musetti just forcing him to hit one more shot and eventually gets the error so it's 30 all here and he's two points away now Mazzetti. Thirty all francisco under pressure here it's a nice deep first serve there now the 400 plus one backhand cross court from Mazzetti. backhand cross court from serundo just lands on the baseline all oh, takes that forehand on the rise as well the serundolo and it's just landed in from Musetti. He's playing with the lines again in this rally. Great angle cross court from Serundolo. Musetti digs it out. What's oh, another short ball from Serundolo? What a rally this has ended up being. Oh, and he lobs Musetti. Musetti jumps for it. Can't reach it. What a lob from Serundolo. That was an excellent rally. And it's 40 30 here. Eventually puts it away. I love this dog. <laughs> Musetti and Alcaraz in the final when he is older than them both. Yeah, Musetti is 20, right? Uh, let me just double check that fact. Yeah, Musetti is 20. Alcaraz, Alcaraz is still 19, isn't he? Or has he turned 20 yet? Let me check. No, yeah, he is still 19. Gosh, these youngsters. <laughs> so a game point here for Serundolo to at least make Musetti serve this out. Oh, what a one-two from Francisco Serundolo. Yeah, just the, finding the lines there on that plus one forehand. And he does hold on. Serundolo, it is still a break from Musetti, but maybe, just maybe, he broke Musetti serving for it in the first. Can he do it again? Serundolo, keeping in touch here. Francisco. Change of ends, Musetti will be serving for a place in his first ever final on the ATP tour, ATP tour. Following this, we will have Carlitos Alcaraz. This is Alex Mochan of Slovakia. Should be another good one as well. David will be bringing you that one. I, uh, I forgot, well, hungry is how much I missed doing this. Actually, I haven't been able to do any of these matches all week until the weekend with the uh, my work but uh i cannot wait to be able to do this uh day in day out again love bringing you these matches and i'm glad you uh you'll seem to be enjoying them as well apologies again for the camera but uh yeah, if you are enjoying the commentary please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new as well yeah that's true gary you always say Djokovic is like the wall i think medvedev also as well is uh, like that just everything's coming back and it is serundolo's Finding some great angles, but Musetti just getting that one more ball back in play and then forcing the error from Serundolo. He is the, the Italian Djokovic today. <laughs> Can he serve this one out? Musetti at 5 4, serving for a place here in the Hamburg final. Back in return here from Serundolo, the forehand from Musetti, backhand cross court Serundolo. Musetti with the forehand cross court. And back to the backhand from Serundolo goes wide. It's 15 love. Three points away. Although, as I said, Serundolo did break him the first time he tried to serve for a set. But a good start here from Pozzetti. Ah, thanks very much, Gemma. <laughs> really, means a lot, honestly. All the support that you guys give us, it really does mean a lot. Second serve here for Pozzetti. back 
can return here from Serundolo. Now down the line. Oh, it's long from Rossetti. 15 all. And missed by quite a way as well. Rossetti may be feeling the pressure here. What can he do here? <laughs> it's his last chance. And a second serve here to look at. Oh, just wide on the return from Serundolo. I thought he was going to make that. Then it would have been a clean winner. But it is 30-15, just two points away for Musetti. Did I pronounce something wrong? If I pronounce something wrong, I'm so sorry. Let me know and I will try to get it right. <laughs> sorry if that was me. Second serve here for Mosetti. He is two points away here. Could serve down the tee, 400 turn. Oh, drop shot from oh, drop shot from Rosetti goes into the net. 30 all. Serundolo's not done yet. <laughs> I like this, Uncle Todd. I have to call you that now, Uncle Todd. <laughs> so lots of pressure here now on Rosetti. He's two points away, but Serundolo's also two points from making this a match again. Serve again. His first serve's deserted him in this game. What can Musetti do here? Second serve back and return from Serundo. Forehand from Musetti. Serundo goes cross court. Musetti down the line. Cross court from Serundo. Musetti with the forehand. Serundo the backhand. Musetti goes cross court on the forehand. Back cross court goes Serundo. Oh, great angles. There's the open court for Serundo. Musetti is there. Serundolo goes to the drop shot. Oh, Musetti can't get there. And it's a break point for Francisco Serundolo. It is a break point here for the Argentinian. Wow, Musetti is going the same way as the first set. Getting broken, serving for it. Can Serundolo do it again? So break point 30 40. Can he get a first serve here? No, he can't. It's a second. Don't think he's made any first serves in this game. That's a deep second serve. Now at the back on the plus one. Down the line goes Serundolo. Mosetti takes it back out. Oh, Serundolo into the net. Oh, that was that was a. Uh, that was a chance. It is juice. Ah, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Ronan. Yeah, although I, I suppose the way they pronounce it in the song is easier to rhyme things with it or make a song out of it. But uh, yeah, because there's a it's a little uh, a little dash, so to speak, on the uh, on the U of Serundolo, which means you uh, yeah you you uh, put the stress on the U there, so it's Serundolo. Nestle asking Kings to go to a tie break. If Sarundolo breaks here, absolutely could. But he's got to get the break. He's got a chance. We are at juice here. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, Mazzetti's hit quite a lot of good drop shots here today. You won't think of him as the one with the, the drop shots. But Sarundolo's got some pretty good ones himself. He's hit some really good ones. And yeah, if you think about it, Sarundolo's been getting to the drop shots of Mazzetti. And Musetti, not so much on the drop shots of Serundolo. Oh, Serundolo goes into the net. Oh, and we do have our first match point here for Lorenzo Musetti. He has the advantage. Match point. Serundolo was so close to a break here. Can Musetti close this out? He has the advantage. He has. Oh, it's an underarm serve on match point. What on earth just happened? And it didn't work. <laughs> what just happened? 
Well, Zetti on match point hits an underarm serve. So the little gets the return back in play. Well, Zetti comes in for it for the, the underarm serve and volley, and it goes into the net. What was that? I have n- <laughs> What was that? Oh, sorry. That that was a. Uh, that was very unexpected. <laughs> We're juice here. That's a, a good first serve. That's what he needed. It's a deep return from Serundolo. Now he goes down the line, backhand down the middle of the court from uh, Mosetti. Oh, great forehand from Serundolo. It's a break point here. Well, from a match point, the underarm serve doesn't work. And now it's a break point for Francisco Serundolo. What on earth is happening here? <laughs> Thanks for that, Gary. Yeah, stick with me on the pronunciations. I'll try my best to get them right for you every time. So it's a break point number two in this game for Serundolo. Musetti. Oh, he's had a match point. Good serve, back and return. Forehand from Musetti. Back and cross court, Serundolo. Musetti goes back cross court. Oh, it's a good angle. It's wide from Serundolo. We are back at juice. I'm asking, will it go to a third? Oh, it's it's so oh, in the balance, yeah. And <laughs> good point, yeah. The Kyrgios school of service strategy on oh, match point as well. And it, yeah, it does look a bit awkward when it doesn't come off. You think if, uh, if if you pull it off, then you can think, oh, maybe it's a method to the madness. But when it doesn't happen, so we are at juice here. Good serve, four hundred return. Oh, just clips the net and just dribbles over. Musetti gets there, but it's long. It's another break point for Serundolo. He apologizes for it, but it is advantage Serundolo. <laughs> you are. Uh, I haven't been kidnapped, fortunately, but uh, for some reason my camera decided to malfunction. I logged into the stream, and it, well, my computer is basically telling me it's not recognizing that it has a camera. Don't know why, because it was working this morning. But yeah, that, that is <laughs> that is where I am. I'm here. I, I, yeah, I have my camera on this morning, but uh, in between these two matches, my computer decided to restart itself, and ever since that, it's it's not detecting a camera. So I will try to figure it out. But uh, I'm sure you, you probably prefer to just listen to my uh my voice rather than look at my face but <laughs> oh did, was that in from Musetti? i think it was francisco said look i can't believe that either it's a forehand we'll get the replay here oh just the outside edge of the line on that forehand cross court from uh Musetti, and he saves the break point we're back at juice Ah, <laughs> Gary, you are too kind. You're all too kind. Yeah, I'm trying my hand at radio, seeing what works best. Yeah, no, Lexi, I, you you did see me earlier. I was I was on the uh, the, the Hamburg final of Para and Contivate. You know, if you do miss my face, go look at that one. But <laughs> yeah, need a password to enter. <laughs> right, we are in juice. So this this game is all to play for here. Musetti with a backhand cross court, backhand from Serundolo. Now back, oh, it's wide from Musetti, and it's another break point here for Serundolo. Oh, thanks, Gemini. Uh, I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I, I think it would be more important for me to, to try and bring you this audio commentary than try to try to fix my camera and uh, miss miss the crucial points of the match. Right, it's a break point again here for Sidon, I think it's his third break point of this game. Might even be a fourth. It is a fourth chance, actually. It's a fourth break point. I still can't believe that underarm serve on match point. It's a good serve down the tee. Not a bad return. Good depth from Musetti there. Now with the backhand cross court. Serundo with the forehand. Musetti with the backhand down the line. Forehand cross court from Serundo. Now Musetti goes cross court. Serundo goes back cross court. Oh, it's into the net for Musetti. And a huge roar from Francisco Serundolo as he breaks once again. Musetti serving for a set for the match. He's at match point. But Serundolo breaks. It's 5 all. Francisco.
So we are five games apiece in this second set. So Lundalo with the momentum now. Can he consolidate that break of serve? To go ahead in this match for the first time. He's been behind the whole way, Serundolo, with Mazzetti breaking in his opening service game as of both sets. And uh, Serundolo seems to be swinging freely now. It's 15 love. Indeed, he did break back uh, previously, but got broken straight back by Mazzetti. So, can he consolidate this one? Oh, set up the lot 15 love. Second serve here. Yes, could definitely go three sets. I think, you know, with set up the with the momentum now. Looked like it was going to be straight. He had a match point, Musetti, and an underarm served. What was he thinking? Yes, yeah, Sarundalo trying to get ahead for the first time. Oh, it's a slightly wild forehand there from Sarundalo. Goes long. 15 all. So yeah, last time Serundolo broke Musetti, Musetti got the break straight back, as Todd mentioned, so he's got to consolidate this one. Fifteen more here for Serundolo. Second serve, goes into the net. It's a tentative second serve, it's not a, quite a good return here as well. Oh, but then a wild forehand from Mozzetti. It's 30-15. Yeah, he does. As he's, he's found a lease of life here, uh, Sir Lundolo. He's, he seems to be hitting more freely now. Maybe he thought he had nothing to lose and he's just he's going for it more. But he does. He's got a lease, new lease of life here in this match, 30-15. That's a great serve. Lobbed up by uh, Musetti, just lands in. Another forehand from Serundolo. Again, another lob from Musetti. Serundolo's up the net, puts it away. Can Musetti get to it? Yes, he can. Puts it away at the third time of asking the Serundolo. It's 40 15. Yeah, I agree with you this. I mean, it always feels weird, this little tiny clay court. Well, I can't even say it's a swing, really. It's two weeks or three weeks or whatever it is. But yeah, clay after, you know, you've got Wimbledon and then the hard courts. At the US Open, it feels it does feel strange having uh, this little clay swing. But yeah, you uh, you wonder, well, you see, usually the top players kind of probably skip in these couple of weeks, but uh, it's a pretty good lineup for both Hamburg and uh, just start. I mean, we've got Rude Berrettini in the start final. Well, Sarundolo does consolidate the break of serve here as Musetti dumps that into the net. And he's ahead for the first time in this match at 6-5 in the second set. Francisco. Oh, oh, oh. Francisco. Oh, oh, oh. Dalo. Oh, oh, oh. Francisco. And they've just given us a replay here of that underarm serve on match point. I you know, still can't get over that. <laughs> it was an underarm serve and volley as well, that one. Because he came in for the volley and it didn't work. Yeah, you feel, well, he, he's, yeah, he's got to deflate Musetti this here, serving for it. Match point. Oh, did Musetti choke? Yeah, he's, he's got to be. And if, if Sarundalo wins this from that deficit, five of down in the first set. Well, yeah, I I agree with you there. It, it's just it's just weird. It just feels. Like you're going backwards. I mean, you're rolling Garros, then Wimbledon, the grass. It's like, why, why are we going back to clay? It's, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I do love the clay. Uh, I do like it as a surface, but it just feels like so out of place in the calendar here. 
Although I agree with you here, the grass, I think they could make the grass season longer. I, I really do wish the grass season was longer. I probably would say grass is my favorite surface and uh, yeah, it needs to be longer. Absolutely. Mass 1000 on grass. So Musetti serving to stay in this second set. Didn't think I'd be saying that. But what a point from both men here. Eventually gets the error from Serundolo. 15 love. This one could be going to a tie break. Gary, I'm gonna, well, let me see if I've got the, uh, I may have the team button here. If I do have it for you, I can play it uh, at the end of the next game, but I'm not sure if it'll be here. I can check. Oh, just wide there from Rossetti, 15 all. Oh, I do have a team button here. Okay, so if uh, if we do uh, change, it's quite a long one. It's about thirty seconds. So if, if we do get a, a change of ends or something, I will I will try to slip that team button in for you. Yeah, I've never played on a clay court either. Actually, I, I really really would like to try it. Yeah, I, well, I was in Italy earlier this year and I, I went past the clay court, but it was a private club and I couldn't get on it. I was devastated. Beautiful as well as in Naples, you could see like uh, Vesuvius in the background, it was lovely. But uh, yeah, I'd love to try and play on clay. <laughs> and it's 15 30 here for Serundo. You can see the outward signs of frustration here from Rosetti now. This could well and truly be going to a third set. Don't be surprised if Francisco takes this. Oh, yeah, if he takes a second set, he's got to be the favorite then to do it in three, hasn't he? Surely. So, Mozetti here in trouble at 15 30. What can Sarundalo do? Mozetti, oh, it's just it's in there from I thought I might then go in wide. Sarundalo with the backhand cross court. Mozetti goes the backhand down the line. Forehand from Sarundalo, backhand cross court from Mozetti. Oh, it's long from Sarundalo, 30 all. Oh, is this going to a tie break? Could be. <laughs> Thanks, Dodd. I should. Yeah, they should let me on. Uh, should let me on centre court at Wimbledon, really. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Actually, well, no, I've, I've, I've walked on centre court at Wimbledon. Uh, not played on it, but I have walked on it. <laughs> you could put in a good word for me, maybe. You can serve here from Mozetti. Now with the backhand cross court into the open court, but Sarundolo is there. It goes back cross court, does Mozetti. Sarundolo is long. It's 40 30. And yes, it's turning into an entertaining match. It didn't look like it was going to at the beginning of this, but uh, it's, it's on a knife edge here. And I think this is going to be going to a tie break. But Mozetti's got to close this one out. I wonder if he'll end arm serve it again. Nope, he's not going to do that. Back and return it into the net from Serundolo. And we are indeed going to a tie break. I pray. I pray. So then, how? Well, let me know. What are your predictions for this tie break? Serundolo or Musetti? Seen Andrea Petkovic and the crowd watching this match. He's playing in the singles, but had to retire. So Sarundalo serving to get us underway in this tie break. What can he do here? Can he build on this momentum? Oh, nice cross court forehand there from Sarundalo is into the net from Musetti. It's 1 0. 10 8 Musetti. It's going to be a long, tight one. And Sarundalo gets the first point in this tie break. So Musetti, pressure on him now at z zero, one. Second serve. Not seen any more underarm serves since that one a match point. So 
Musetti with the forehand here, backhand down the line from Serundolo. Musetti goes back to that corner. Now cross court from Serundolo. Backhand cross court from Musetti. Always into the net from Serundolo. And it is one apiece. Uh, like I said, no, I think, I think it is uh, first to seven. I think it, it's just the first to turn up the, the slams in the uh, in the deciding set. So the third set for the women, the fifth for the men. But um, in, in the rest of the tour, it is just to seven. Of course, this is, this is just the second set as well. But yeah, it's the first to seven. Oh, Francisco, seven for Serundolo. Second serve here for Musetti. Yes, um, Labour Cup should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sure you've all heard that the big four will be playing for Europe. Rafa, Roger, Novak and Andy all playing for Team Europe. Love it. Hopefully we'll be uh, I'm covering some of that. Oh, Serundolo puts, <laughs> puts a volley away. Well, not a volley, he lets it bounce, but he puts the smash away. And he gets the first mini break in this tie break, the Serundolo, it's 2-1. This match is really turning around here. I want a prediction here. Mosetti, 7 5. It is the mini break for Sarundolo. Serve, forehand return. Forehand. Oh, it's a big forehand from Francisco Sarundolo. Gets Mosetti on the wrong foot. It's 3 1. Well, if Serundolo does win this tiebreak, that would be one hell of a comeback from a set and a breakdown. Five love down in that opening set as well. Let on the first serve here, but he does have a mini break. Serundolo at 3 1. If you are watching along, please don't forget to the like button. We've uh, just hit 50, well, 51 likes now, so. Thank you, everybody who has hit that button. Let's see if we can get maybe a hundred. Well, if this goes to a third set, I'm definitely going to try and get it to a hundred. Oh, but it's a double fault here from Serundolo to hand the mini break right back to Lorenzo Musetti. And a shake of the head there from Serundolo. Oh, it's always horrible hitting double fault in a tie break. But we're back on serve here. Musetti serving at 2-3. Good serve. Cross court return on Musetti into the open court. Sarundolo is there. Musetti takes the ball on the half volley. Sarundolo goes cross court. It's a great angle, but Musetti again gets it back. It's long, I think, from Musetti. Is that in? Oh, it was in. They, Sarundolo stopped as if to kind of, well, I thought I think he thought it was out and he stopped, but no call came. It looked like it was long, but it's not. It's just bounced in, and it is three points apiece now. We'll get a replay of this. It's a backhand from Mazzetti, and Francisco Serundolo basically just leaves it. But it, it does bounce in. It does indeed bounce on the line, and Serundolo can't believe he's left it. That's a, a bad error of judgment there for Serundolo, especially in a tie break. To just leave that ball. So it's three points apiece here. Waited for the call, but it never came. So Mozetti gets the point. It's a good serve down the tee. And Mozetti, oh, good plus one from Lorenzo Mozetti. It's 4 3. And a fist bump there from Lorenzo. His box are loving this as well. <laughs> we are still on serve. So Serundolo. Still all to play for the second set. But it is Mosetti who's ahead now in this tie break at 4 3. Nothing Sarundo could do about that forehand. So Sarundo serving at 3 4. Backhand slice here from Mosetti. Sarundo goes cross court. Oh, it's wide from Sarundolo. And it's Mosetti now with the mini break. It's 5 3. Musetti's won four points in a row in this tiebreak, helped along by a double fault from Serundolo, but it's two points away now, Musetti. Serundolo under a lot of pressure. He's given this mini break back to Musetti. 3 5, Serundolo serving. It's a 
good serve down the team. Musetti gets the return in play. Now with the cross, got forehand down the line from Serundolo. Musetti goes back down the line with the backhand. Serundolo is there. Drop shot from Musetti. Serundolo gets to it. Can Musetti get the passing shot off? He can. And it's match point. Lorenzo Musetti. Big fist pump. Big hand in the air. He gets the backhand passing shot away. And it is 6-3. I don't know why it's not changed. Ah, there we go. The scoreboard's changed now. It is match point number two for Lorenzo Musetti. <laughs> Match point. <laughs> Thanks, Ronan. Hoping for a third set. Yeah, let's try to get as many likes as we can. Probably won't be 100 if this is two sets. But, uh, yeah, let's try it. Go on. Thanks, everyone, who already has liked. But Mosetti here. Match point number two. Is he going to under arm save on this match point? I would probably bet against it. He's not going to. Good serve. Oh, and it's into the net from Serundolo. Mosetti throws his hands up in the air. Oh, Musetti, you can see how much that means to him. He is into a first ever ATP Tour final, is Lorenzo Musetti. He takes that tiebreak seven points to three. And uh, he can finally celebrate because uh, he got broken serving for those sets a couple of times. He had match point, hit the underarm serve, <laughs> serve and volley. But... Uh, the tie break was just too many errors from Serundolo in that tie break there, starting with the double fault. And uh, it is Musetti at the age of 20. Youngster will be in to the final of an ATP 500 this tournament in Hamburg. As Serundolo can hold his head up high here. He's had a really good run. I mean, he beat Rublev here, then Karatsev. He's had a great run here. Obviously, won his title last week as well in Bostad. So it's been a great couple of weeks for Serundolo. But uh, credit to Musetti here. Uh, he has taken this in straight sets in the end, just about <laughs> six three seven six. Thanks very much, Todd. Um, yeah, I, I will do my very very best to get the camera back up and running for the next one. Sorry to everybody once again about that. Um, yeah, it's not ideal, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the commentary nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to both men on a great week. But it is Musetti who is into his first ATP Tour final in six six three seven six. David will be calling the next semi-final for you. We'll have Carlos Alcaraz and Alex Molchan, so uh, stay tuned for that one. But uh, thanks very much for joining me on this one. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and hopefully I'll uh, I'll catch you on one of the finals tomorrow as well. But for now, it is Musetti who takes it in straight sets. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. <laughs>